how you doing guys? Guess what? Hurricane Joe is back. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh my god, another video from him in just a month? Well, I'm trying. I'm trying to do more videos to be better. Um, basically what I'm going to do on this video is I wanted to do a video that showed a lot about Steve Clark's lead style. And uh, someone that did a real good video on his uh, lead work was BWM5150, great guy named Ben, great player. Check his channel out. He does um, some instructional videos on Steve's lead work. I wanted to do some licks that um, I didn't see that he mentioned. And if you put them together, I think uh, our videos together, you'd probably about have 80 to 90 percent of most of the licks that uh, we licks that Steve Clark like to play. So uh, hopefully uh, you'll find this uh, helpful. Now uh, I'm going to break up these licks into two different sections. One section is going to be standard rock licks that Steve happened to use, but you wouldn't necessarily say they're unique to Steve or he's the only one that uses them because pretty much most of the standard rock players use them. But it's some that you'll see in a lot of his lead work. Okay, and then I'll go into one of his signature licks uh, to break down how Steve uh, did that. And these are the ones that help sound real unique, and when you hear it, it's like, okay, that's Steve. All right, the first one we're going to do is a, a standard a pentatonic lick. We're going to do it in the key of E, E minor. If you look there, we're going to be on the 12th position, and I'll just show you how it goes at first. And basically, um, you take the 14th fret on the G string, bend it, and then you play the... B string on the 12th fret, and then you play the E string on the 12th fret. So it goes. It's kind of like a Chuck Berry lick. When does he use it? Uh, like on another hit and run solo. Remember that? If, you see, if it sounds familiar, that's when Steve was using that lick. So that's number one, a little Chuck Berry lick. Here's another standard rock lick that you, Steve used all the time, and it goes like this. Now this lick right here is a standard rock one, and basically you start, we're starting in the 12th position because we're in E, and you play the uh, E note on the 12th fret, E string, first string, and then you do a pull off from the uh, second string from the 15th to 12th fret, and then you do a bend on the uh, G string on the 14th fret. So. And he uses that lick, that's a lot of his speed licks. Now sometimes he buries that and doesn't play the, uh, the E note or the first string, and just does the pull off from the second string to the, and then to the uh, third string on the next fret. So it's so when does he use that? Um, you can hear that a lot in his, uh, his Die Hard the Hunter solo, this famous one. It goes... You hear that right there? Now that's in the B, uh, B section. That's in the seventh because it's in the key of B. That's when he uses it. He also uses it in his live Billy's Got a Gun solo, which is in the key of D. Uh, Listen to those solos live and see if you can pick out that lick. Now, one of his speedy licks that he uses is still a standard rock lick all the time. Uh, you'll hear him use this one uh, a lot, too. And it basically, here's his full speed. And basically, if we're in the 12th fret, it's the G string on the 14th note. And then you play the uh, B string or the 2nd string on the 12th fret and then the second string on the 15th fret. So it's and when you play it at full speed, it's Now when does he use that? He uses that in the tail end of his wasted live solo during the 1983 Pyromania tour. Um, he uses that lick, see if you can check that out. He also uses that in his Die Hard the Hunter solo uh, when he's going real fast, when he goes when he does that lick right there, he's using that lick, so he does that pretty fast. And those are the pretty much, a lot of rock players use that lick, but Steve used that in those solos that I mentioned. Now the next section that's kind of unique to what Steve liked to do, before I explain the lick, we have to go into a little bit of explanation of theory. Now I know a lot of guitarists, once you hear theory, like, oh, 
don't freak out, it's no big deal, no big deal. Basically, most guitarists will use what's called the uh, uh, pentatonic lick, which is basically using five notes from the Aeolian mode, which is the natural minor scale. So a pentatonic lick, let's say for an E again, would go like this over one octave. So it's E, F, A, B, D, E. That's over one octave. Okay, but when you're playing the natural uh, Aeolian mode, which is what Steve did, he wasn't really a blues player, but he was a mode player, you also play a two-note section. So he will play the F sharp before the G, and he will also play the um, uh, A, B, he also play the C note. C note. And it's so important that you learn the notes on the guitar. You don't have to be extremely fluent at it, but it's not hard. It's only 12 bars. And so there's no sharps between B and C and no sharps between E and F. So it just basically goes to the alphabet. So if you start on A, what's the next letter of the alphabet? B. So it's A, there's a sharp between B, so it's A sharp B. No sharps between B and C, so it's A sharp B, C, C sharp D. See how it goes? Follow that on the strings and learn the notes on the guitar, and it makes it a lot easier to do. Now the reason I showed you that scale is because what Steve would do, instead of playing that across the neck, he would play those same succession of notes on one string. So look right here if we're on the... Uh, E note right here, E, F sharp, G, and then he would walk it up, just the same scale, E, F sharp, G, F sharp, G, uh, A, A, B, C, B, C, D, and then bend. So see if you recognize this lick on his uh, wasted soul. He's basically using the Aeolian mode scale and he's descending it down and Steve does that a lot. So he starts with a, it's D, B, E, and bending to the E. And he's just basically going down the scale. And so when he takes the scale, which is genius, over different strings and plays it on one string, he varies that up a lot. So now you're seeing how he walks up and down. So basically, say for instance, we're going to start on the E string here because it's easier to reach. Um, at full speed, he'll do a lick like this. He does that a lot. You might recognize it where he hears it on Wasted. It's the same exact progression there, but you're doing it on different strings. Now, when Steve does it like that, sometimes he picks it, or sometimes, instead of picking them all the triplets, the different notes will go. Hear it? And it goes down and down. When he does that a lot, and it is wasted live solo, uh, during the 1983 Pyromania tour. He does that where he picks the notes in succession. He'll also do hammer-ons on that note. He does that same run on his overture solo in the last one on that song. So you get a chance to see Steve varies that a lot, but that's his speedy licks, especially during the Pyromania tour. Also, he does that in another hit and run on a live solo, that type of lick. Hopefully, that'll work out for you. Now, this is the coolest lick that he does that he probably got this from Paige, but he does this a lot. Now, this changed my life, because I saw this New Year's Eve, 1987, and uh, Joe Elliott goes, hit it! And everything stops, the lights go off, and there's one spotlight on Steve, and you see this lick. Isn't it funny how you have to make funny faces when you do that lick? But trust me, if you do that live, everyone's going to love it. And basically, he's doing a hammer-on, and I'm doing it here with just wearing the key of E, but he's doing a hammer-on from the, uh, from the uh, second string, from the 12th fret to the 15th fret. Then you cross over and bend the second string, and it sounds like an ascending lick. And it's something that you get. It's cool that you do that without using a tremolo arm, does the same thing, but it sounds so cool, plus it's a visual thing. So now, Steve uses that during another hit and run. He also used that in his lead intro before the Wasted solo. So hopefully, if you take some of these solo points that I put here, 
put it together with bands, you'll get a nice combination of Steve Licks and you'll be like, you listen to Def Leppard songs and say, okay, I know Steve played that solo. I hope this uh, instructional video helped you guys. I appreciate support. Thanks again, Hurricane Joe.